Pirate Princess. The last day Ching lived on land, she sat waiting in the palace. Her father, the commander of the Imperial Navy, was meeting with the new emperor. The guards were still and stern. They used to be friendly to her, but lately they had only ignored her. The new emperor did not like Ching's father. Ching's father flung open the chamber doors. He was heavy, but he moved fast. He nearly made it to the palace door before Ching got up. Come, he said to his daughter. The light from the open entrance shined on him, brightening the dark palace. We are free. It's time we sailed. From then on, Ching lived on her father's ship. They weren't in the navy any more; they were pirates. Everyone on the ship had to work, even young Ching. She swept the decks, coiled thick, wet ropes, and during raids, she sharpened swords while hiding in the hold. The other sailors weren't normal pirates; they had been her father's elite officers. Instead of going wild or rejecting orders, they stayed disciplined and fought hard. The men were skeptical about having a teenage girl on board. They thought she was a burden. They called her "pirate princess" as a joke. One night, the ship waited outside a cove. Her father's spies heard news that a huge, rich galleon was due to pull into the harbor. Everyone was tense. This would be an impossible fight. I have a new lock for your door, Ching's father said as he entered the hold. I won't need it, she said. She stopped sharpening a sword and stood, gripping it in her hand. I know how to fight. Yes, he said. But this is not about your skills. You are brilliant and strong. This is about my conscience. I cannot let you fight. I must protect you and keep you safe. But you treat no one else this way. Ching's eyes filled with tears. She was so angry. She knew this battle would be hard, and she wanted to help. That is because no one else is my daughter. He took the sword from her hand. I know it is unfair, but while I lead this crew, you will not fight. The galleon pulled into the cove, and the battle began. Rows of cannons fired from the ship's long sides, but the pirate ship was fast. It cut sharply around the blocky galleon. Tearing down its sails with return fire, eventually the galleon was crippled. It was time for the pirates to board the enemy's ship. The pirates swung onto the galleon. They were hard fighters, trained well from many conquests. But the sailors on the other ship weren't defenseless merchants. They were soldiers too, and they outnumbered the pirates. Enough. Ching's father said after an exhausting fight, "Return to the ship." But the soldiers followed. They still had a lot of fight left in them. Meanwhile, Ching was still in the hold. She heard the battle move onto her father's ship, and her fellow pirates shout. She remembered the day they left the emperor, the day she became a pirate. "I am free," Ching said. This pirate will fight. With her sharpest sword, Ching cut the chain. She slipped out a window and climbed up the ropes. Soldiers and pirates crowded the deck. Ching finally saw her father. He was battling the galleon's captain. He was losing. The captain kicked her father to the ground. Ching leapt off the ropes onto the deck between the two men. The captain swung at Ching, but she was too quick. She parried the blow, slicing the captain's sword in half. She ordered him to his knees. The shocked captain surrendered. 
Ching turned to her father. He was badly wounded. We're free, she said. Just hold on. Ching, her father coughed. I said, while I lead this crew, you will not fight. But I no longer lead this crew. He smiled at her and shut his eyes. Ching stood over the ship. The soldiers had surrendered with their captain and sat bound on the deck. The pirates lined up at the stern. They stood at attention before their new captain, the pirate princess who had won an impossible battle.